um, in a couple of seconds, he will join the lobby, and we'll be ready for game number five. Yeah, Cats and Drewby, <laughs> Cats and Drewby still, I mean, really not a lot has changed even from before that game. Cats mm -hmm. and Drewby still just one game away from winning the entire tournament. Optic Zero and Select still have a ton of ground to make up. Uh, if anything, that first win was just a chance for them to say, hey, we're not total losers. We can we can win one game. Um, but, I mean, they still have so much ground to cover here. Cats and Drewby should still be feeling comfortable. Obviously, it is a little hit to the pride when you're on a seven-game win streak or six-game win streak and get thwarted, uh, thwarted there at, at, during the grand finals. Obviously, the clean sweep would have been a lot of fun for them, I imagine. Yeah, and then they could have tried to make some more money off of StarCraft today after already the $375 a piece that they would have split for the grand prize. But um, here we go. We're going to get things started. It appears as though Select is viewing the replay from the last game, so that is the reason for his delay. We'll get him in here in just a second. There he is. He's pending. He'll be in. Don't forget, guys, to follow the Prodigy Team Star League on Twitter, twitter.com slash prodigy TSL, uh, facebook.com slash prodigy team star league, youtube.com slash prodigy TSL, wellplay.org slash PTSL or PTSL.tv. And also, if you guys wouldn't mind, click on the little follow button down at the bottom of the Justin TV page. It really does mean a lot to the Prodigy Team Star League, lets people know when their events are going live, and uh, is a big benefit for them. So, looks like a select is not ready. He has joined the lobby. That is an improvement. <laughs> He is, he is more ready than he would otherwise be had he been, not been in the lobby. Um, and I don't think it's any secret that Prodigy Team Star League wants to do something like this again in the future. So the more feedback they get, uh, positive or negative, just make sure it's um, constructive uh, criticism on Reddit or Team Liquid or Twitter or wherever you guys are trying to get in touch with them. The more they know about how to improve, uh, the better the next one will be. I've heard uh, murmurs that there will be some sort of open... Um, sort of open tournament sign up sort of deal perhaps for PTSL number two so um, yeah the more feedback you guys can give the better the tournament will be next time around and indeed so this is just season one they've put it in the um, in the title itself as well so yes the implication is that there's going to be more awesome 2v2 tournaments in the future let's go ahead and get things started the countdown has begun everyone is ready to go cats is light blue <laughs> oh, Everyone cats. except for you. Uh, all right, High Orbit, another map that all of these guys should be familiar with. And if I remember correctly, I think uh, Cats and Drippy have a pretty much flawless win rate here on this map. Wait, wait, wait hold on here. We have... Uh-oh, they switched! Switch they switched! What? Cats I... is playing Protoss. What? That's not... I don't think that's allowed. He, Cats is playing Protoss. Hold on, we're going to update this. We're going to see if this keeps going. Cats is playing Protoss. Optic Zero is playing Zerg. Uh... All right, we've got it. Did they switch accounts? Like, Drewby and the cats are playing a select no. and Optic Zero? No, no, okay, in the chat, to, to give you guys a little bit of background to this, uh, in the chat the, uh, of the actual game itself, um, Dr it was Select who was complaining about the race imbalances. He said that, that they were tearing a Protoss, thus they naturally had a disadvantage and they had to try very hard. So apparently it looks like both teams decided to switch. Here we go. Hmm. Huh. 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 Well, now is it going to be more embarrassing if uh, Select and Optic Zero do lose to that team setup they just said was Imba? I would think so, yes. <laughs> but, you know, this is kind of clever on this map to do it. I this is this, These are fun head games being played because this one is legitimately harder for Terran and Protoss to win because they can't expand the way they would like to. Um, I'm curious to see what form of Protoss that Cat's Plays. Is this going to be an outright four gates? Is this going to be... I don't know. Optic Zero is going up to pool and extractor. And we'll see if we just have endless aggression. Oh, double barracks going down for select. He has bypassed his gas. So I think we're going to see a big old-fashioned rush out of Optic Zero and select. Yeah, six lings already in production. That two racks there coming out of select. I have seen cats play Protoss in the past, and usually it involves cannon rushes and proxy gates, but he hasn't actually started either of those things yet. So um, I don't know. Drippy might have to carry here a little bit if they do, in fact, get rushed. Cats, I just don't know. And Optic Zero, obviously, I've don't really have a clue how well his uh, Zerg acumen is, but we'll see as he streams across the map here. This is the same sort of thing Katz does, sends those first six slings just to test the wall sort of thing, and uh, perhaps try and score a probe kill here or there. 
Yeah, and don't forget about the right-hand side as well. Destructible debris back there, so even if you wall yourself in at the front, you still have another base to defend, as that destructible debris could fall down pretty quickly. So reactor coming up now for Truby. The Zerglings are already getting themselves in, and I don't think that there's a Marine on the field. It's not. Oh, it, no. it was chasing away this SEV at the back right, and the Zerglings are going to be able to do a significant uh. amount of damage. The reactor does go down. Not sure if that was canceled or not. And Optic Zero is going to be able to get in here with all of his Zerglings and a ton of workers are going to fall. Uh, the workers might be okay. Well, there was okay. like five or six of them already went down. Really? So, yeah. So six lings. Yes, That's because they, <laughs> they were pushed. They were pushed into a uh, wall. Of the yeah, there was no sort the of zealot, surrender or anything like that. I saw the like zealot that. hacking away at the back there, and these probes should be able to hold off three lings at least. Yes, but, uh, definitely. Man, that's pretty brutal. The fact the reactor, as it's building, cannot be repaired, so that's basically the entire reason that they were able to get in at all. Uh, did have a decent amount of health, and the SCVs were there in time, just could not repair. So these lings are going to get cleared out. There's only one remaining in the red health there. One more little jab from an SCV should be enough there. Katz is doing a, a pile on spotting this destructible debris, so if he ever does tab back over to it, uh, he'll see that this destructible debris is taking some damage now. Katz only has a single stalker and a zealot here. Warp Gate Tech is being chrono boosted, but there's only one warp I mean there's only one gateway to even flip over once it does finish and cat's actually attacking these zerglings now of course optic zero can just pull away the injured ones as they get attacked the marines are comfortably sitting in the back pew pewing away at these destructible debris eventually they will be destroyed uh, just because they can sit there comfortably a couple of bunkers are going up but there's really not that many fighting units uh, four marines coming out at a time from select only and actually four marines coming out at a time from Druby as well Yes, yes indeed. This is going to be kind of cool, because we have a defensive position being set up now for Druby, and he is going to be able to establish those bunker bunkers, but there's a possible the Lynx could just run right on by and get into the mineral line here. Let's see what they do. Indeed, the Lynx are just going to run by. Uh, oh, they the do sentry. manage to pick off a couple of uh, sentries and stalkers before that actually happens. Select is going to stand out of the range of those bunkers. It looks like his Marines are going to get trapped. He's going to have to pull away, but all the while, these Zerglings are going to be able to do economic damage. So much economic damage, Druby going to have to pull his SEVs away. A lot of those are going to fall. Just lost mining time left and right here. That is not a good position for Team Assassins. And yeah, being forced to pull out of those bunkers, so even their defensive position at the top of that destructible debris opening is now wide open. More Marines and Zerglings coming in, finishing off those bunkers. No point in even salvaging them. Katz and Druby both have so few workers right now, and basically glaring holes in their defense that Optic Zero and Select can really just uh, rally move into their base and continue dealing a ton of damage. There goes that pylon. Both gateways will be unpowered there. And it looks pretty grim for Team Assassins trying this little switcheroo with their races. So maybe Substance backing up their words here, saying that you know the TVZ, or the TZ versus TP is a little bit imbalanced. Doing a nice job here, dealing a lot of damage out. Cats now only producing off of one gateway at this time. Another gateway was completely killed. The third unpowered. And Optic Zero going to get back in and do a little bit more economic damage. So many SUVs falling at the moment. They are eventually going to hold, but not before a lot of SUVs die. Yeah, and there's still pink blobs and red blobs moving across the minimap. They're not going to slow down at all. If you pull up the harvester count just a second, we can see exactly how drastic things are. Only 10 drones for Optic Zero. He honestly has not built anything. So uh, the fact that Katz and Druby both have 12 SCVs apiece, or 12 workers apiece, and those mules means that they're actually not dead. Select only has 22 SCVs and 12 Marines. He hasn't built any additional tech either. Uh, Katz and Druby may have... Uh, cemented uh, a lead actually somehow um i don't know man that's gonna that's be a lot of marines that is a lot of marines <laughs> and they're gonna continue pushing across the map this reminds me of like nexus wars or the ums games oh yeah nexus um wars. but uh yeah because this is just you you gather up enough forces until you can finally win the tug of war back on your side select like trying to put up as many bunkers as possible he actually does have a fair number of marines sitting here at the top optic zero sitting ready for the flank he's gonna come in behind here in just a second select starting to do his damage there's the flank the SUV is being pulled as well a lot of units are gonna be trapped nice job mineral walking and getting in the middle of all of those units, but man, that is a lot of stuff still up for Katz and Druby. And now Katz and Druby have been building workers, and Select and Optic Zero have not, so the fact that Select just sacked a bunch of those SCVs 
uh, means that this game is very even still. 11 SCVs remain for Select. He had 22 a moment ago. Yeah, absolutely. So 24 workers combined to 32 workers combined. Now Select is going to pick off the rest of these Stalkers, but not before they actually neutralize the rest of these Zergling numbers. Very nice job there. A few more units being rallied in as well. Uh, Optic Zero really not producing anything else except for Zerglings at this time. It's all he knows, apparently. Big number of forces <laughs> are left. Let's take a look at the army tab. Uh, 57 supply for s for assassins, I'm sorry, against the 64 for subsun. So, um, all right, a little bit of an advantage for subsuns in that regard. Looks like they do have the bigger army. Druby and Cats are going to have to play defensively until they can completely pull ahead in economy. We're probably going to need to see an expansion out of one of the four players sometime soon. If Druby would just get Hellions... I mean, imagine <laughs> if Druby had Reactor <laughs> Factory right now with Hellions, this game would be over. I'm not even sure if he realizes that he's getting Stim and Combat Shields right now, trying to crank out as many units as he can, waiting for this counterattack. Obviously, they have to know that this is coming, and Katz is not building any units right now, just trying to get those gateways back up that he lost previously. Um, here comes the counterattack. I don't know, Select, does he even have any upgrades? Uh, Stim is actually researching now. Does he have Combat Shields? No, no, he does not. So Druby does have a full bunker, but nothing is there to repair it, so that is going to fall pretty quickly. The high ground advantage is still... Uh, with Druby though, they don't have any vision up there. I think actually there is an Overlord there, so they are going to pound away on those gateways. Lots of sentries here. That is Ooh. what I was looking for there from Katz, and he is actually going to get a full wall off there with those force fields. Katz and Druby still in decent shape. Rebuilding that. Uh, actually, Druby not rebuilding anything. There is the factory coming for Druby. I, I saw the factory in Select's production queue mentioning those Hellions earlier would have been such a huge bonus for them, but it looks like these three Marines aren't really going to be able to do anything either. And, oh, here comes the next wave of wings with there's actually a huge concave of Marines waiting for them. Not bad at all there. Uh, just having Druby with some fortunate positioning from those Marines after that encounter. But Select does have a pretty good economic advantage as well. We can see he's mining almost as much as the uh, as Assassins combined just because of this gold mule and the spam. amount of mules that he has down on it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and Optics here really doesn't have to produce much. I would like to see some sort of a macro hatch out of him, possibly, um, is he'll need to be able to utilize his supply a little bit more effectively in the future. He is going to layer, and he's putting up a bailing nest at the same time, but big old group of Marines now out for Druby. There's actually 20 or 30 in that set. They do yeah. have combat shield and stim now as well. Let's see what Select has on his. No combat shield, no stim. stim he is researching stim, yeah. yeah, but no combat shield. Uh, Katz, on the other hand, has a pylon building. I don't. I just don't know what he's doing. <laughs> like I, every time I look up, there's nothing there. But he is making four sentries now. Obviously, warp ends are a big part of that Protoss game plan. And there is a reactor being built for Druby, but it looks like he wants to switch that to Medivax instead of actually just cranking out those Hellions. I don't know. If they don't realize that that Optic Zero hasn't been making drones and is just now hitting Lair and has honestly only built Zerglings this entire game. Yep, you are correct. There's a couple of Banelings in here as well, and it looks like because of the increased range, yep, Select is going to be able to ward those units away. We have a big Zergling uh, run around here on the right-hand side, but unfortunately those just ran into a wall of Marines. That was a, a huge amount of units that were sacked. Select has some Marauders in this composition as well now. They do have Stim. Looks like Druby and Cats are going to go right around. If they get themselves caught, though, Ooh, gonna need perfect force fields. These banelings could do a lot of damage if they're able to explode, but look Whoa. at the way that Druby and Cats are making their way into the main. If he can force field the ramp behind him, actually, if you can check that ramp, yeah, full force field on that ramp behind him, they're gonna come in here and do a lot of damage, including killing off that first orbital command and probably a production structure or two. If he can get another wave of force fields, it doesn't look like he has the energy, though, so we are gonna have this big engagement here. Both sides stimming up again. Druby at half health with all of those Marines. Another couple of force fields, though, are gonna be beneficial. All those Banelings just slamming their heads into the force fields, and it looks like Assassins do have a little bit of a benefit, but all these Marines with only 10 HP remaining, they're gonna get blown up Boom. by that last Bailey. All right, so let's take stock of what happened after all that. Druby was able to expand. He's just finishing up his command center. Select is now down to one base. Worker count shows 32 combined for Subsons and 53 combined for Team Assassin. So very nice job there. Uh, let's take a look at the overall supply. 70 supply for Subsons against 97 supply um, of Team Assassins, so huge advantage now for Assassins moving into this stage in the game. Druby is just continually reinforcing. He has not gotten an engineering bay for any upgrades. 
Yeah, I don't even know. Okay, he is building an engineering bay, and that's just finishing right now. Yep, plus one weapons coming for that bio right out of the gate. Baneling speed researching for Optic Zero, and Optic Zero is actually expanding somewhere. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> 16 minutes, 45 seconds into the game. The Zerg expands. Very, very standard. <laughs> but uh, Select does have a big bio force coming along with all these lings. Probably should have just waited with those lings. Uh, I don't think he's going to get much done with those. And no. that's actually just sacrificing a ton of forces. That could have definitely helped if you check over 